to formally um, open today's conference, um, I'm delighted to welcome Alex White to the stage. He, of course, needs no introduction, former Minister for Communications, Energy and Natural Resources, as well as a Minister of State for Primary Care. A senior Counsel and Mediator, he is, of course, the Director General of the IA IIEA. Over to you, Alex. Thank you very much, um, Derville, and it's my great pleasure to uh, welcome everybody here this morning uh, for this uh, important uh, conference. Uh, all of you in the room, all of the speakers, uh, those of you who have taken the time to be with us here today, uh, Derville in particular, Derville MacDonald, thank you very much for agreeing once again to, to chair and to facilitate uh, the discussion uh, throughout the day. Uh, as Ireland's leading uh, independent think tank and uh, policy research institute, the Institute of International European Affairs is very proud to work uh, with the ESB in creating and indeed maintaining uh, this forum for discussion and uh, debate. Our relationship with the ESB um, is long-standing. It's decades uh, old, I think, at this stage. And I really want to commend the ESB, Paddy Hayes, and all of the team there, um, not just on their core work, and I've made this point uh, before, not just on the core critical work that they do um, for the country in relation to um, uh, uh, um, those activities, but also to the fact that they are prepared to come forward really as thought leaders and really as people and as an organization that's prepared to take part in the debate and in many ways to lead the debate, not afraid to walk away from the critical issues and in some, some instances the really difficult problems and, uh, uh, that have to be addressed in this vital agenda uh, for the country. And actually somebody reminded me earlier that our own uh, founder, Brendan Halligan, um, worked so closely also with the ESB and indeed with many organizations, um, some of which would be represented here in this room, to build the Institute as a forum and as a place for exactly and precisely that kind of debate to explore ideas, to canvas uh, um, uh, different approaches and to set out evidence-informed um, uh, uh, material in order to assist us and to assist the people of Ireland uh, to address critical questions about the future, including obviously um, the, the whole uh, uh, energy agenda. And it's really by you know, sharing knowledge, sharing expertise, um, engaging on the key topics, all of them obviously including we're talking about um, energy today, focusing on solutions uh, that we can all contribute, I think as citizens, uh, to the vital work that's needed uh, to address uh, the challenges that our society uh, has and those that lie ahead. And we've used this term, this word accelerate, um, and it came up in the fabulous piece there, uh, accelerate, we used it before, we were kind of thinking, well, do we use the same word again? We said yes, actually, because it does encapsulate what we're about and what we want to see happening. Uh, progress can sometimes be slow and then very quick and then slow again. And I, it's important that, you know, Keep, keep the foot on the pedal, if I could use that um, a phrase. And I think that's where this notion of accelerate, that we need to accelerate, we need constantly to be looking to uh, advance progress. And that um, discussion about how to, to advance and how to progress really is the core mission of the Institute of International European Affairs through multiple work strands um, to deepen uh, knowledge and understanding, as I said, of the uh, critical questions of our time and the many risks but also the many opportunities that are there to help us all see and plan uh, for the future in this complex and turbulent world that uh, we are in today. Um, and it's to, you know, to facilitate debate, that's what we're about, not to be prescriptive, but to be a forum uh, and indeed a publisher of evidence-based analysis, just as we were happy to do recently with um, John Fitzgerald and Edgar Morganrath's paper uh, on the subvention, for example, in relation to Northern Ireland, um, all of the other activities across a range of multiple different uh, strands. Um, just in the last week alone, for example, you're wondering, is this the ad for the IIEA? Well, actually, it is the ad for the IIEA. Just to give you a sense and a glimpse of the other work that we're doing, uh, literally in the last week, looking at the uh, relationship between the United Kingdom and the European Union um, post-Brexit and perhaps in, under a new uh, government in the United Kingdom, the prospects for democracy in the light of the US elections this autumn, the debate on EU enlargement, 
uh, an update from China just in the last few days, a presentation on media freedom and pluralism, and of course our continuing focus on energy and climate, which is such a major preoccupation for us. And I'd like to thank those of you who uh, support the IIEA, who attend our events, whether in person or online, please continue to do, to do so. I think you'll find much of interest in what we're doing. Um, feel free to, to join and feel free to participate and uh, thank you for your support, uh, the many of you in this room who are uh, uh, willing to, to do that. So today, uh, as Derville has mentioned, we're going to hear from experts, from leading commentators, regulators, uh, technologists, academics, engineers, the minister, all working in their own ways to advance the achievement of decarbonisation and net zero. And in the case of ESB, of course, the electricity sector by 2040, and in the case of the European Union and Ireland more broadly, to reach net zero um, by 2050. I want to emphasise that, of course, each of our speakers has a story and has a contribution, but you, the audience, attendees at this conference are as important uh, to, to, the, to the day and to the discussion, and I want to strongly encourage you to engage with what the speakers uh, have to say um, through Slido, over lunch, and throughout the day, because that's what makes uh, an event like this uh, so uh, worthwhile. Because progress, coming back to that critical central theme of, of progress, accelerated progress, will require a combination of thought leadership, political leadership, investment, research and technological advancements and discoveries, uh, and engagement by citizens, which is why the, this kind of a big, inclusive, forward-thinking conference that we're having today is so important uh, and all the more essential and necessary at this time. So you have the program, um, you'll, you'll hear from the speakers. I just want to finish by again thanking Daryl MacDonald for, for being here. Again, uh, um, commending the ESB and thanking them for their close cooperation and professionalism uh, in working together with the Institute in the preparation of this conference. And finally, if I may, to thank uh, my own team, our own team, colleagues at the Institute for all of the uh, huge work that they put into the preparation of this conference. And I know it's going to be a great one. Enjoy. Thank you very much.